Welcome back. So now we're going to discuss what are called Boolean expressions. And we can go ahead and just type this right into our text file. If you don't have your file open with gedit, go ahead and get your script.py open. And what we're going to do is we're going to just put in here Boolean expressions. And now when we say Boolean expressions, we can just think of this as true or false. So let's go ahead and print our new subject line. We're just going to call these Boolean expressions. And from here, let's start defining those. So let's say we have Boolean expression one. We'll just call the variable bool one. Now let's just set that equal to true. OK, and let's give an example of that as well. Let's just say Boolean two equals, let's say three times three. Now, what does three times three equals? Well, that equals nine. So we can say equals equals to mean something equals something. And so this number equals this number. So three times three is nine, which equals nine. So if we take this expression and we say nine equals nine, it's going to return true. Let's do a couple more. So we could say Boolean three equals false and Boolean four equals three times three. And then we can say does not equal nine. Well, that's not true, right? So that's false. So if we were to print these all out, we could say print Boolean one, Boolean two, bool three and bool four. OK, and let's also print the type so we know about this. So we say print type and let's take a look at what this looks like. So once you have that all written out, go ahead and just save this. And go ahead and run your file. And you can see that it came out exactly how we thought it would. So we've got four variables and they're all Boolean expressions. Right, so we've got true, this equals to true, this is false, and this is equal to false. So we see true, true, false, false when we print those all out. And then when we want to look at the type of the variable, so we say, hey, what's stored in here? Inside this variable, what's stored is a Boolean. Now, please do note that there is a difference between true and true. One is a string and one is a Boolean. So if you were to set Boolean five, for example, to true, and then you printed the type of Boolean five, then you're going to get a different result here. You're going to see now that the type is a class of string. So big difference here. I'm going to go ahead and just delete this. So this is just an overview of Boolean expressions. We're going to use this later on and you will see it again when we get into exploit development, but you're going to see certain things, especially when we get into loops as well. So once we start getting into looping and we talk about that, it'll make a little bit more sense. But you want to know sometimes if something is true or if something is false or when we get into conditional statements, if something is true, then do this or if something is false, do this. We haven't gotten quite that far yet, but we need to introduce the concepts before we can build upon it. So what we're going to do in the next video is we're going to build upon these even more. We're going to take relational operators and these Boolean expressions and kind of combine them and start building upon it. And then once we get this all put together, it'll all start making sense. So for now, all you need to know is when I say Boolean expression, all I'm thinking about is true or false. So we'll build upon that in later videos.